let's see what we have in the offing further okay let's take up these kind of examples you have y is equal to 4x cube okay let's take a small small section wheel let's you have so first one you have dy by dx will be 4 into d by dx of x cube isn't it now because as i told earlier if there is a constant associated we take it as a coefficient which is nothing but 4 we use the rule nx raised to n minus 1 so this is n so 3 into x raised to 3 minus 1 x square so eventually it is 12 x square okay now here what is dy by dx dy by dx will be nothing but 1 by 4 into d by dx of x cube which is nothing but 1 by 4 into nx raised to n minus 1 3 x square so this is 3 by 4 x square here what you have it's actually dy by dx is equal to 4 by 5 sorry 5 into d by dx of x raised to minus 3 it's not 3 because x is in the denominator hence this will become 4 by 5 into n that is minus 3 x raised to n minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 so eventually it will be minus 12 by 5 into x raised to 4 now here what will be dy by dx dy by dx is nothing but d by dx of 5 which eventually it's a constant so the derivative is 0 hence we have simple application of the first rule in fact the most common rule which we'll be coming across it should be on the fingertips okay now let's take up these kind of cases hmm. you have y is equal to log 5x so we are using log rule so dy by dx in this case is nothing but d by dx of log 5x remember if it was log 5 raised to x it's a different concept this is nothing but log of x is nothing but 1 upon derivative of log of x is 1 upon x so it will be 1 upon 5x however we use chain rule here i'll just indicate it we'll be going into detail further after doing this we need to find out because this is what is called as a composite function it's a function it's it's log of a function of x that means there is a function within a function so then you have to find out the derivative of 5x2 which is nothing but 5 into 5 upon 5x this 5 goes out into d by dx of x which is nothing but 1 so eventually it's 5 by 5x which is 1 upon x so in such cases we have what is called as a composite function okay now here see this is different from this so in this case dy by dx is nothing but d by dx of log 5 raised to x we remember what is log a raised to x is going to be 1 upon x into log e to the base 5 it's going to be log e to the base 5 all right here there is no further uh, derivative there is no composite function involved here what about this we have dy by dx would be d by dx of e raised to 5x so here what's happening you first use the rule when function is e raised to x the derivative is e raised to x itself so d by dx of e raised to 5x is e raised to 5x however it's not just x within this 5x itself is a function of x so we need to do d by dx of 5x often candidates have a tendency to forget this in the initial stages but then with practice it becomes a habit to uh, naturally use the chain rule so hence we have e raised to 5x into 5 into d by dx of x which in any case is y so it's eventually 5 e raised to 5x now here you have y is equal to 5 raised to x 
in that case dy by dx is nothing but d by dx of 5 raised to x. So we're using the rule which is different from log 5 raised to x. In this case, we write a raised to x that is 5 raised to x as it is. And it is log 5 to the base e. Unlike here, here it is log e to the base 5. Here it is log 5 to the base e or it's just log 5. So again, you have another set of rules. So we are compiling the previous one was about the same rule. d by dx of x raised to n is nx raised to n minus 1. Here you're using the other rule that is finding the derivative of logarithmic function or combination finding the derivative of log of a raised to x, finding the derivative of e raised to x, finding the derivative of a raised to x, not log a raised to x. So dear friends, we have all these 5 to 6 important formulae. Although I kept on telling that they are easy, they are a cakewalk, you need to, uh, no doubt, you will be practicing and doing. But at this particular stage, why I have been applying these formulae again and again is because you should be on the fingertips. But for us, since we have been practicing using this, applying this, it's like the back of our hand. But for the candidates who are appearing for the exam, it should be so thorough with these formulae at this particular stage. You should mix up, for example, 5 raised to x with log 5 raised to x. Right? Similarly, log 5x and log 5 raised to x are not at all the same, nor is this the same as this. These are all different concepts. So, the only way you can discriminate between them, differentiate between them is when you are totally thorough with these formulae. So, at this particular stage, if these formulae are at your fingertips, you have learned them totally by heart, Either you, you have to learn them by heart and immediately apply in similar type of examples. Then it becomes easier. It becomes a more enjoyable process. Learning becomes a more enjoyable process. So I expect all the candidates to be thorough with this formula as we move ahead.